Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do mesh tracking inside of DaVinci Resolve for free. Mesh tracking tracks the surface of an object and can use that tracking data to apply an image uh, and warp it so that it sticks onto that subject perfectly. Until about a week ago, I didn't think it was possible to do mesh tracking in DaVinci Resolve, but then I got an email from Messiah Resolve letting me know exactly how to do it. Without him mentioning it, I never would have found out how to do it in DaVinci Resolve, so make sure you guys give him a huge thanks down in the comments below. But let's get right into it. So in DaVinci Resolve, first up you want to import your shot. I just have this clip of an elephant walking here. Then you want to go into Fusion and do Shift Space to add in the Grid Warp uh, tool. Once that's added in, you can adjust the grid size X and Y. Uh, I'm going to bring mine up to 20 each, alright? And that'll add in all these little grid points. The more points you have, the slower this is going to take, but the higher quality result that you will get. Next, I'm going to select the magnet type to uh, select it. I then select all the grid points in the region that I want uh, to track. Once I've done that, I can come up here to this drop down menu and do publish to tracker. This will publish all the points to a single tracker node that if we take the media in and put, connect it into the tracker node, we can view it off to the side and see all of the trackers that we have. Then I want to set the adaptive mode to best match and then bring that match tolerance down just a little bit. Then I'll hit track forward and it will track all of these trackers at the same time. Now you can see why it takes a little while. While we wait for that to track, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe so you never miss out on a brand new video. If you want to support the channel even more so I can continue making these videos, check out my Buy Me A Coffee page at the link below. There you can get early access to tutorials as well as project files and discounts for my store. Again, if you want to check that out, it's at the link below. Now let's see how we're tracked in. Alright, so if we skim through here, we can see the trackers did a pretty good job. We won't be able to tell exactly until we actually put an image into that, so let's try it out now. I'll take the output of the tracker and merge it up to the Grid Warp tool. Then I'll do Ctrl T on the merge node to switch the inputs. Now if you view the media out, nothing will show up because we don't have anything in the Grid Warp tool. So if we come out to my media pool, I can drag in the DaVinci Resolve logo. But now, what we need to do is make sure that this logo is the same resolution as our composition. So this is 1080 by 1080. Our composition is 1920 by 1080. So if I drag down a background node and merge it up with the media in, Control T to switch the inputs and set the background mode to transparent, or uh, bring the alpha all the way down. If you view the merge, as you can see, now it is uh, uh, the same resolution as our composition. If I connect this up into the Grid Warp tool, you can see we have a very deformed looking Resolve logo. I'll come into the Merge node and adjust the size and position to put it on the side of the elephant here in the areas that we tracked. So if I scale it down and just set it right there, that's pretty good. Then just to do some effects, I'm going to add in a color corrector node and bring the saturation all the way down. And then I am going to come into the merge node and bring the blend down a bunch as well. Now if we go back to the edit page, a lot of times the cache won't work with this effect. So what you can do is right click, do render in place, come down and set it to whatever format you want. I like to do mp4. Then you can click render, save a video location, and then it will render the media out so it is ready for perfect playback. All right, so now if we play this, as you can see, the DaVinci Resolve logo tracked on perfectly to the elephant side there. This mesh tracking is really cool, and I'm so glad it's natively inside of DaVinci Resolve without having to go out and get one of the expensive Boris effects programs or something like that. Again, big thanks to Messiah Resolve for letting me know about this trick. Again, thank him in the comments down below. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time for another video.